remember 2016, I will always remember laughing harder in my classes than I ever have before. Um, I'll remember some of the deepest thinkers that I've ever worked with as students. Like, it's been really, really amazing. It's, there's just something about a class that comes together that knows that they want their senior year to be something special, and you guys have that. So I think uh, you guys are exciting. All of you as interns, it really was the best group, and I don't know if you will agree with me, Ms. Diddy, but the best group of interns that I had. I think what I'll remember most about your class is um, all the kind of funny and subtle things that um, your class has such a great array, I think, of personalities and of, of different, um, yeah, just different things going for you, whether it's déjeuner on the ground um, after doing one squat, just screaming for help. So the best memory I had was on Miss Thomas's birthday, Garrett and I went out on our own and we bought a fish. It was the best idea ever. Happy birthday, Miss Thomas! And I'm like, those aren't for me, are they? We knew she loved animals. Why not buy her a fish? It didn't turn out well for the goldfish, but... I think we enjoyed them. We, uh, we we lacked money for a tank, so we figured, being the pet lover she is, she would provide it. So, yeah, we brought the fish, and she, I think she loved it. We had an emotional connection with the fish for a few weeks before they died. It's time for them to move on. By far the best memory. So, my favorite memory was, was when me and Mizra and Mahalit, we were after school, in Miss Thomas's room, and, you know, we were just goofing off, and then Mizra started laughing all of a sudden, and she told us that her stomach was hurting before, and she was laughing so hard <laughs> that she farted, <laughs> and it was like one of those parts that sounds like it really hurts. Uh, my favorite memory was in sophomore year when Archie touched Angel's butt. My favorite memory is when Chandra fell off the table in the lunchroom when Xavier tried to touch her butt. <laughs> Xavier, <laughs> freshman year. My favorite memory was uh, last day of school of our last day of school of my junior year because uh, my homie Sam and Ezzy hit that nasty freestyle for us. Shout outs to them. My favorite memory was the girls' volleyball game against GVR and how everyone came out and supported and we crushed them. When McCall's advisory was trying to do the haka at the basketball game, and it just was such a fail. The best memory that I have is just first joining the class and how accepting and kind everyone was. My favorite memory would be when we had our t-shirts and we took a picture outside. The Asian Neal Challenge, and that actually made me so happy because like, I had a thing like... Just looking back on our class in terms of the diversity and not so much um, in terms of what we look like or anything like that, but in terms of our talents. In Mr. Seahawks class, especially fourth period. The seniors, we planned the school and before that we had like a dance party at the park with someone's car with the music up loud and we all danced. My favorite memory was the beginning of senior year. All of the seniors met up on the first day of school and watched the sunrise. It really was a great culmination of our time here at high school and we really just came together as a community and you could just feel the love and support that all the seniors had for each other. I think I'll miss just being able to go up to anyone in our class and just being able to talk to them and they're not really like judging you, you can just like connect with anyone here. And you have people along the way that are helping make those connections for you, like along the way with you, and then it gets to the end and they're not going to be there anymore. It's a mix of everything. It's been a mix of good people and bad people, good times and bad times. There's a mix of a lot of cultures and diversity, and like honestly, that's what I've been looking for in colleges is a lot of diversity, and it's been really hard to find it because they're all like, you know, 40% white. And I'm like, no, like, where's everyone else? I guess, no, we've been uh, a class together since sixth grade. That's been pretty awesome because, you know, we all got to know each other and everything, and now we're all separating, so it kind of feels weird, you know, you've been attached to something for so long, and it's just, it's going to go away like that. You'll never get this opportunity with this group of people, like, ever again in life. I can go and talk to anyone, and I think I, and I'm going to really miss that because 
it's not the same when you go off to college and like you barely know anyone. Okay, I'm gonna miss all the teachers because in college they're just not nice to you like that. They don't like give you hugs and stuff and they sometimes don't even know your name. And you might not find a group of friends like you do here. And like I'm friends with all of the seniors and most of the juniors and like a lot of people in the school and it just doesn't happen in college. You just have your group, you know? And I'm just gonna miss that. And I really enjoy that sense of community and I'm not sure I'll find that in college. No. These past four years at this school has been like rough in general. Like I'm gonna miss everyone in this class. Like just uniquely, individually, like all different shapes and sizes and colors and cultures sitting together at lunch and enjoying each other's company. Just work hard but have fun. Over these seven years, as Angel said, I've grown to love each of you guys for your own unique qualities. If I had to do it over, I would choose the same group of people. Until we meet again, never forget. Don't get bored, don't be boring, to enjoy your life. And you have dreams and aspirations, and take chances. Take risks. If you fail, figure it out, regroup, and start all over again. Proud to see that we've all made it together, because it's been a really... It's been a it's been a long journey for us, okay? Oh, <laughs> so the fact that we all made it together is what makes it just it's just a wonderful thing, and that's why I'm crying. It's because I really do love all you guys, and I want everyone to know that. I'm gonna miss y'all. Um, Are you crying? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! It's okay. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna change the Why? What, what did he say? <laughs> it's gonna be some rough times in college, and just think about how rough high school was, and that you got through it, so you'll get through this. Please keep in contact, even if I haven't really talked to you very much. Like, I still want to know you. You're all really amazing people, and I always want to help. And if it means I get to learn a new subject while I'm doing that, it sounds fantastic. I think we all have like different personalities and like different things to bring to DSST and I feel like if, it's just going to be different with everyone next year. Something traveling does make you realize who you are and how, how fortunate you are because you are fortunate. Yeah, I'm going to miss everyone if I don't see you ever again. If I had to give any final words for Class 2016, it would probably be Hail We are the GOAT, we are the greatest of all time. Alright, class of 2016, peace out. After seven years of blood, sweat, tears, we made it. I just want to say just good luck to everybody on their journey. We hope everyone's dreams come true. Hope everyone just does what they want to do and is happy in the future. Just yeah, good luck to everybody. I really want to thank all of you guys and I hope the best for all of you in your future endeavors. Thanks to the entire class of 2016 because I've grown to love you guys a lot. Whereas in like ninth grade, I like hated everyone for dumb reasons. Make sure Young Metro trusts you. You already know what you want to do. Just follow your heart because you're going to spend all your time doing all these other things and come back to where you are. Back to what you meant to do. It's an anchor. Because if you don't, you'll regret it. It's always better to ask for forgiveness than for permission. For the most part, everyone's left a good impact on me and I just wanted to let you all know that. Uh, I want to wish everybody luck in college and just keep up the hard work and see each other in 10 years. Everyone just be who you are. Don't be scared of peer pressure and just like everyone else, be who you are truly. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. On the boom, north boom, side of Denver, boom, born and raised at the Denver boom, School of Science and Technology is where I spent most of my boom, days, sadly, boom, but now I'm out. Boom, Peace. Boom, Love you guys. Oh. <laughs>
Throwback now to shared computers from carts, totem poles in class with Mr. Thompson in art. Man, how we hated those participation charts. Somehow, I guess, we made it to high school. Young freshmen walking around like we were cool. Had a problem with dress code, that annoying rule. Musical chairs and morning meeting. Bryce swears he wins. But I stay cheated! <laughs> you couldn't go a year without Davion screaming. A headache within itself as we reached the halfway mark. The flame we held for so long finally began to spark. How we thought junior year was the worst period of our lives. From ACTs to AP tests, we barely survived. Little did we know senior year was the thunderstorm. College applications and scholarships became an even higher platform. The agony of waiting for acceptances and rejections, the early subtle drifts in our unique directions. We waited to take our place on the bleachers, the class of 2016 in the main feature. And now we're all leaving to our own separate paths. We all have been waiting for it now at last, though we may meet again and now our high school days are past. Oh! One, two, 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 oh! what you got here. Let me see. Oh my goodness, where's my bell? Congratulations! <laughs>